online online java compiler okay thank you thank you okay let us take so now next in the last class we are discussing about the one dimension array so how to represent how to display the i repeat how to display the array in two different methods number one simple for loop number two for each loop so in the last class we are discussing about the simple for loop but in this class i want to discuss how to display the for each loop so let us take so this is the integer array it is a integer one dimension array with a variable a and it is a new so this is the way to declare the new array value the new array so what is the declaration this is the data type and one dimensional one space bracket variable name and next one new so this is a new uh, array and this is called what is the data i want to store integer and this is called as a length Length stands for number of data elements present in the array. So let us say you want to assign this value. So a of zero. Suppose in the array you can access a particular element with respect to index. Index is always start from zero and with the length minus one. Okay. So total n elements starting with the index value starting with the zero, ending with the n minus one. So a of zero, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five. So let us take how many elements are there? Only five elements are there. So that each and every element, starting from zero, first location fifteen, second location twenty-five, third location. Okay. Suppose I want to print. I want to print this array by using the for each loop. So let us take this is called the for each loop syntax value. So what is the syntax value? Suppose I want to print which array? A array. Okay. So let us take for. Suppose this is the integer array. This is the integer array. So that's why I'm using the integer. Suppose if the array is a character, then I can use character. Suppose that integer that array is a string, then I can use this is the string. So that's why which array you want to display, then you can put that type of integer, that type of data type of the array you should mention here. So let us take this is the integer. That's why I'm using integer i. Okay, why? Because i stands for index. You can use any variable, but that is reference index value. So here i refers index value. Colon. Which array you want to display? So let us take value is equal to a. So now I want to display a array which is a integer array. So how to display that? This is called so system dot out dot print to ln i. So you can put the i. But so many people, the including myself also, I am doing some mistakes. So many people that I want to print a. So that's why they are giving the a value. Then you will get some error. So what I am saying is that if you are using the for each loop, you should mention this is the for loop. And what is that type of the array? And next one, I stands for index. You can use a J, K, L, M, whatever it may be. So then it is an index. Okay. Then what is the name of the array? So this is the array. So then what you can system dot out dot print the L and I. So that means for each and every element, I can display A of zero, A of one, A of two. So let us check. I want to check what is the answer. Okay. In the last class, we are using the simple array for I. Is equal to zero less than okay semicolon i less than a dot length semicolon i plus plus and they can add the system dot out dot print in the last class I, we are discussing that point of view but now in this class I want to display the same array value in a different manner by using the for each loop okay so let us take what is the output value. Suppose what is the array value? 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. So this is called 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. So every element is there. So next next one, I think in the last class we already discussed by using the index. I want to find out a particular array element. Okay. So it is already explained in the previous class. Now let us take. So in previous we are printing the integer arrays. Now I want to create a new array with a string. So let us take. I want to display this. 
So let us take string. Okay, this is the one way and this is the another way. Okay, suppose you can choose. Suppose uh, this is the one way and this is the another. Let us take this is the string. So what is the string? It is the string data type. String data type. Data type is the string and the array, one dimensional array. And the name is equal to B and the initialization value. So first goes to first location, second goes to second location, third goes to third location and this value. Okay, so now I want to display this value. Okay, I want to display this array. So which for loop I am using for each loop. Okay, for each loop. So let us take what happens. So this is called as a my for each loop. Can you guess what is the output? So please see that. Okay. So now this is the you can insert the value and this is the directly give the value directly. So instead of new, you can directly give this array. Now I want to find out the length of the array. I want to find out the length of the array. So then you can use what is the instruction? Array dot length. So system dot out dot print ln array dot length. What is the array here? B. So that's why I want to display the length. Can you guess what is the length of the B array? So if anybody respond, what is the length of the B array? Hello? What is the length of the B array? Seven. Seven. That's seven, that's sir. Good. That's, that's, good. that's good. So we see that. This is the seven. So I'm explaining one by one, one by one. Okay, I'm explaining one by one. All right. So next, suppose sometimes I want to copy the array. I want to the I want to copy the array. So please be see that to copy the array, the two arrays will be in the same data type. Will be in the same data type. So array A is integer, array B is integer. Then I want to copy the array. I want to copy the array. So that's why, so both are same type. So of course one is an integer and another is a string, then it is not copied. It is not copied. So the first rule is that to copy one array to another array, then it, the both are in the same data type. So let us take, suppose this is called as a array copy. Now, suppose let us take, I'm creating one empty array. Suppose I'm creating one empty array. So there are two different methods in the copying method. Of course, there are three methods, but we are discussing the two methods. First is called as a, suppose A is already integer. You are not supposed to declare. Suppose let us take integer C is a another array, which is an integer data type. Okay, if you are using the integer array C is equal to A, then A, what are the values or A is just copied into the C value. Okay, that means A and C both are represent the same index, same data type. Okay, so, but there is some problem here. So, let us take first, I want to discuss how to copy. So, A is copied to C. A is copied to C. Okay, I can show you one more thing. Let us take this is called as a, okay, right. mm, new. I can create. So if you have any doubt, then I can create new. Okay. All right. New integer. Okay. A dot length. This is called A dot length. So that size is already mentioned. So let us take, I want to say C is equal to A. C is equal to A. So that means I am creating the C array. And A value is directly copied into the C. Okay. Suppose whether it's copied or not, I want to check. To check the uh, internal data type, uh, internal uh, data, I can use the printout. So here I'm using the for each loop. You can display by using simple loop also. So let us take what happens. Check. I hope may or may not be right. That's good. Copy. So let us take, this is called as a copy. This is called as a copy. Let us take in previous C and now in previous A and now in the C value. So that means A value is copied into C value. So that's why what we are doing, we are creating a new integer array, same data type array. Second step, we are copying the 
source uh, array to destination array and that should be displayed. This is the one way. But there is some problem. So what I'm saying in the starting one, the array is nothing but a set of memory locations. The array is a set of memory location. So here you are creating the two arrays, then there are two set of memory locations should be there. Okay, you are understanding that. So A is a one array and B is a, uh, C is a one array. So then both are two memory set of memory locations are available. If you are assigning the one array to another array, then both A and C refers to the same index and refers to the a yes right. but the what are the c value is there that should be created as a garbage i repeat i repeat so don't confusion let us see i am creating a array with the data yes it is clear it is already displayed now let us i am creating another array with the empty empty so that's why i'm saying that length okay empty array now what i'm doing that a array is copied into C array. So you are understanding that there are two set of memory locations are there, okay, which are having the same data values, same value, same data type value. But you are thinking is right. But what happened if you are doing like that, then both, both arrays will represent only the A array, but C array is a so that means, suppose if you are indicating A of 0, giving the 15 value. If you are indicating the C of 0, indicating 15 value. So that means you are getting the same value, same reference value, same index value. But the C register memory locations can be filled with the card. It is no use. Why? Whether you are referring to A, whether you are referring to C, both are represent the same memory, A memory location, A of 0. Okay. So what about the C? The, mass, the memory locations of the C array will be filled with the garbage. There is no use. I hope you got my point. If, if you are assigning A value to the C value, then you are understanding two set of memory locations. But what I am saying is that, okay, any problem? D0? Okay. What I am saying is that, okay, okay, okay. So what I'm saying is that, suppose if you are representing the C of zero, it will give 50. So that means it refers to which? The A of zero location. If you are giving the A of zero location, then it is also giving the same value. So both are representing the same memory location. But you can, the physical understand that A of zero, C of zero, both are two different sets of memory location. But if you are assigning like that, if you are assigning like that, both address will represent the same single memory location with the same index with the same data type. Another data, another memory locations can be the page. This is the one main problem. So that's why if you are creating two sets of memory locations, I repeat, if you are creating the two sets of memory location, it can holding the value and it can exist the two set of memory for this. There is another method is there. There is another method is there. Okay. That's why I am using one new class type. That is called as a array copy. I'm using the array copy. So this is the one type of array class. So there are for each and for the string, there is a one class is there. Okay. Suppose this is the array class. This is called as a array class. That is called a predefined classes already exist in the Java language. Okay. So you can use that C class. So one of the uh, program is the array copy. This is a one, one program. It is already exist in the C array class. So that is called the array class. Okay. So from that array class, you are accepting one special program. That program name is the array copy. So array copy. So what is the syntax of the array copy? So let us take system dot array copy. What is the source array? Yeah. 
what is the source here say ye in the a from which location this is called as a index from which location you want to copy so that is called index zero so that means from first onwards next from where suppose let us take d register d is this is the destination register this is the source register and this is the destination register from the destination register from the destination register okay which location i want to copy which location i want to copy so 1 2 3 4 so that's why this is the source array and this is the source index from where i want to copy so that is the index value in the source file let us take this is the destination array so from the destination array from which index i want to copy so that is called zero so again it is copy from the zero next how many data how many data a dot length so that means what are the available in the uh, five data everything should be copied everything should be copied so i repeat this is the one instruction system dot total array should be copied i repeat total array should be copied so a so what is the source register so from which you are accepting the data a from the a from which index i want to copy the data so that is called as a zero so that means first location onwards next suppose where to copy destination array in the destination array from which location i want to copy from a to d so that's why that is also i am giving the zero so that means starting point to start how many locations how many data i want to copy so what i am saying that a dot that is total available from the a how many data are there everything should be copied this is the one way so now i want to check the d value whether you are getting the d register or not okay all right so i am creating a d register please be listen i am creating a, a new d register now i am copying the a register value into d register a register value or uh, a register uh, sorry a array values copied into the d array so this is my motto for this purpose i am using array class one special class that class name is the array copy array copy so what is the syntax of that from where from which array you want to copy from which you want to accept the data so that is what is the array name yeah, this is the source array so i want to access the data from the source array y yeah. in the array in the source array from which location i want to access zero location so that means zero index so from starting next suppose what is the where to copy this a array value to the destination register what is the destination array that is the d in the destination in the in the array from which location i want to copy so that is the zero location so how many data i want to copy enter so a dot length stands for enter so i can check whether i am getting the values or not so please check what is the a value a not a1 a2 a3 a4 similarly here d not d1 d2 d3 d4 so you are saying that you are copy the a values into d values okay right. in this point of view the two set of memory location should be exist the d register contains the values of 15 25 35 45 55 55 but in previous method d register cannot contain the value it is the garbage value but the two memories are two variables are assigned in the same location of the array okay please be remember in the first method there is no second memory set, set of memory locations are there but in the second method the two memory set of memory locations are available next let us take i can clarify clearly this value suppose i am creating right one 
I repeat, I repeat, I am creating one uh, integer array. Integer array. How to understand it is integer array? This is the integer. The symbol square bracket stands for one dimensional and its name is equal to E. And what is the values are there? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Okay. Now, suppose I want to print. Okay, what is the length is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, 8 data are there. Now, I'm executing. So, you are getting the G array with the 8 data elements. Now, I want to copy some data from A array into D, uh, E array. Some data. So, let us take. Uh, I can ask the students, please respond after listening this concept. Right. Suppose what I'm doing, A array copy. From where? I want to access data from A array. To where you want to copy? The E array. Okay? E array. So let us take, so let us take first what is the source array? That means I want to extract the data. From which array? A. Okay. From A, which location I want to access? From which location? That is the first location. So can you please tell me what is the first location in the A array? 25. 25. One is stands, this is the zero. Zero location, first location, second location, third location, fourth location. So that means I want to access from A array, from which location? one location okay now this data should be copied into destination array what is the destination array name g g okay so i want to access the data from a from first location to which location which array e array in the e array where can i store these values so what is the starting value zero zero so that means i want to store a1 data start into E0 data. E0. So, array E with the index value 0. Okay? Please be listen. From A array and starting index is equal to 1. So, from that data, it is copied into E array with the starting location 0. How? How many? How many? Four locations. How many data? Four. So, that means from A array the starting value from starting one to four locations. So what is the one? 25, 35, 45, 55. So that means how many data I want to copy from A array? Four data. From which location? First location. So now this value can be copied into E register. So in the E register, where can I store starting in a location? Zero, E zero. So that means E zero, E one, E two, E three, E four. Okay. All right. So now I want to display this. So before this, please be listen. Before this, I can show you system dot out dot print ln. Okay, print ln. Mm, sorry, mm. e of i. Okay, here I am using a, uh, that is called for uh, integer i. What is the, uh, as I want to print, e. Okay, so like this. So now I can check. So this is, I want to put some statement. First, I want to display the e value. Uh, some problem is there. Oh, oh okay. okay. This is a print L, not print L. It's a print. Okay, print L. Uh, integer i dot e. 
system dot to pkl ah sorry 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 can you find out any problem here i am getting error can anybody respond what is the error here hello printl and low i have to print off i sir that's good that's good that's good that's ending now okay thank you right can you please tell me what is the e of 0 can okay e of 1 e of 2 e of 3 e of 4 e of 5 e of 6 e of 7 total 8 okay so please be careful next i am copying the data from a value i am copying the data from a value okay sorry next so from a from which location i want to start from one location of a so 25 how many data i want to copy four data so 25 35 45 55 so this can be copied into e array from starting so that's why 10 20 30 40 can be replaced so that's why this is 0 1 2 3 so that means four data are replaced with the a of data so i can check whether it is a modified or not okay so can you please tell me in previous in the e array what is the first data 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 okay now i am copying four data from a1 to a5 a1 to a4 all the data should be copied so that's why so this copy data can be placed into the e array from starting so e0 onward so that's why e25 35 45 55 so four data are replaced so before copying what is the data 10 20 30 40 40 now what is the data 25 35 45 55 55 so i am remaining data uh, remaining 60 70 80 60 70 80 and you should be remember one thing the destination length so if you are copying some data into destination you should have the sufficient space so that means less than the length of the array if you are suppose your length is equal to 8 your length is equal to 8 okay please be remember suppose i want to copy the five data into uh, from a array to e array what is the length of the e array 8 suppose if i am copying the five data into e array 5 plus 8 is equal to 13 but my e array size is equal to 8 then you will get some confusion you will get some problem so that means some data are copied from one array to another array which is exist in the for a destination array but not exceeding the array so i can show you the same problem let us take how many array elements in the uh, a array 1 2 3 4 5 5 5 okay so let us take from starting i want to copy but i want to copy the entire five data are you getting the error or not are you getting output or not so that means i want to copy why because e address size is equal to 8 okay e address size is equal to 5 okay 5 is it possible to copy everyone are you getting right or wrong okay are you getting my question so let us take i can reverse this so let us take i can reverse this let us take d yeah so that means i want to copy the data from d register okay what is the size of uh, d not d so this is called as a e e array e array so from e array i want to copy from one okay to where in the uh, in the d register okay let us take in the d uh, uh, repeat that i am in the same mistake d array okay right suppose this is called from d0 i want to copy 6 i want to copy the 6 are you getting are you, this d 
E array is copied into D array. Hello. Okay, please be listen. Don't confuse. Don't confuse. Okay. If I have a enough space, I can insert. Suppose if I have the less space, how can insert the more numbers? Then there is a problem. So here what I'm saying is that I want to copy how many data? Six. How many data I want to copy? Six. But what is the size of the D as a only five? Can it exist? No. So I can check. You will get some error. Yes. Okay. Suppose in your home, there is a capacity of six people. Okay. Right. Suppose you are only the three people, but the space is six people. So that means you can accommodate how, uh, how many people? Up to three people. Suppose if the four people are arriving into your home, then how can you can provide the accommodation? No. That's what getting the problem. Right. Now, suppose I want to transfer only the two elements. I want to transfer only the two elements of the E array to D array. What is the size of the D array? It's a five. How many elements I am transferring? Only two. So space is there. So it can be copied. So let us take what happens. This is called as a I and T. And this is right. So let's check. So that you are getting the answer. Okay. Right. This is the another way to copy the array from source array to destination array. But remember, remember that means destination array length is sufficient, it can hold it. If the length is not sufficient, it cannot give accommodation, then there will you will get some problem. Okay. Suppose you have the only, I repeat, you have the one room. In your room, there is a only two people can be accommodated. If the 10 people are arrived, you will face the problem. Okay, suppose your room capacity is the two, you are having only one. If the another one person is arriving, you can accommodate. If the two persons are arrived, then you are already exist. So you can give the accommodation only for one people. Then I can accept. Suppose the two people are there, then you are not giving the accommodation. This is the principle. So what is the benefit of this? You are copying. So source data, source array is available and the destination array is available. So it can contain the original data, but not the garbage. But before data, then what happened? Two data, are, two arrays are there. Two arrays reference the same index, same variable, same location, but the second array can occupy the garbage value. Right. This is the procedure to transfer copy from one array to another array. All right. Next. Suppose I want to discuss about the, no, 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 any doubt? Hello, any doubt? All right. Next is the, suppose I want to sorting the data. I want to sorting the data. Sorting stands for either ascending uh, big to small or small to big. You can use any method. You can use any method. But in the Java, there is a facility there. That is called as a sort. So let us take, this is my, okay, this is my uh, E array. This is my E array. So in the E array, I want to sort. I want to sort. Okay. So for this purpose, I am using a, this is a one special class that is called a, in the address class, I have the e address dot sort. I'm using the address.sort. So the simple 
syntax is the so because it is not directly available in the arts you can import you can import from where java dot util dot this is called as a class so i can this is called importing this is called importing what is the class name arrays so this is called as a java dot util dot arrays is a special class for the arrays in the java then inside that what is the function sorting sorting so then what happened java dot util dot arrays dot sort so which array i want to sort g so then what happens i am using this value java dot util dot array dot sort so let us take this is the zigzag values so these are the some 55 45 35 30 20 80 70 60 these are zigzag values so now i want to check in a particular order okay so check what happens i can show you okay how many elements in the e eight elements eight elements so what is the maximum value 81 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so this is called eight elements okay these are all the sorted out so let us take um, all right so let us take i want to change um, this one uh, i want to create i want to create one more array new array so let us take it will be clarified to you integer yes array is equal to assigning um, i can show you the first one 10 comma 5 15 comma 20 35 comma 40 comma uh, 40 i'm oh, sorry um, no okay i think this is the 45 so this is 30 this is 30 and next one 45 comma 40 okay and next one 55 comma um, 23 so then this is the end of the array so now i am applying the this is the f value so now i want to display the f value before the sorting so then i can use this value control c this value so what is this value this is the e value so not e f so now i want to display so what is the f value sometimes 10 5 15 just i want to disperse Let us take, um, before that, before sorting, what is the values? 5, 15, 20, 35, 30, 45, 40, 55, 23. Now I want to apply the sorting. Now I want to apply the sorting. So for this purpose, I can use Control C. Control V. Then I want to sort the F value. And F, and this is called a sorting of F. Okay, change. Right, can you please see this? Before sorting, what is the value? First value 5. Okay, next is the 15. So next is 10. Okay, this is called 15. 20, 23, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55. Okay, sorry. Right. So this is called 10, 5, 15, 20. So before that, I am giving the data 10, 5, 15, that. So now what is the data now? This is called as a 5, 10, 15, 20, 23, 30, 35, 40, 45, 55. So that is called sorting. So what is the method you are using? Sorting. So then what is the syntax? 
just you are using the system first you can use java dot util dot address dot sort so which address i want to sort yeah so this is the sorting of the data next so last topic in this session is the two dimensional array so two dimensional let us take this is for as a two dimension how to declare the two dimensional data so you already know that what is the data type integer hello get it out okay next what is the array name yeah so this is the two dimensional array so why because there are two uh, i think that is two rectangular boxes are there so there is a two dimension length and depth so that means column one column two column three. row one row two row three okay right so let us take this is the two rectangular boxes that indicates two dimensional array so what is the values so one two three two four five four four five let us assume that the data values so now this one can be to represent the in previous one dimensional i can use only one index value but in the two dimensional to represent one uh, element you can use the two index values two index values so 0 0 0 1 0 2 1 0 1 1 1 2 next one 2 0 2 1 2 2 okay so let us take i want to display everything so to display the two dimensional array let us take i am using the two index values i comma j so this is the 3 by 3 matrix this is the 3 by 3 matrix so that's why starting from 0 and i less than 3 how many elements are there three elements are there okay three elements stands for 0 1 2 2 okay so in the i there are three elements and the j there are three so row and column so three rows and three columns starting from 0 1 2 and in the column wise 0 1 2 so to represent a particular i can use let us take i can start from the row i is equal to row so i is equal to 0 condition true then what happen i should go to this execute this instruction in this instruction so column starts from so first row first column j is equal to 0 and then j less than 3 condition true then what happened it is a system print out ii okay this is called array of that so this array should be printing here this array should be printing here once it is printing then j increment one condition true again goes to this value and it can printing the print ln okay so by this way for each and every time it can be printing so just i can check yeah so 00 0101102 okay right so next is i want to display any particular element how to Uh, display a particular element in the matrix two dimensional yes sir right. suppose i want to display the three value i want to display the three value can you please any one can you please respond i want to display the three value how to access the three value please system dot out dot print off error of 0 Yeah. yeah 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 just just a minute okay all right i can display in this computer system dot out 
dot print ln uh, now yeah no error of square or uh, normal bracket square bracket uh, in the first square zero. bracket what is the value zero but zero. Zero. In the second square bracket two. Okay, can I close the square bracket? Yes. Sir. Yes. Yeah. Next, what is that uh, second variable? Two. So three. What is the position of three in the zero column, zero row? Zero two, sir. Zero two. That's good. Okay. Can I check? All right. So this way. So let us take this is called three. Okay, suppose if I'm giving outside it is getting what not I don't think so. Yeah, three. Okay, you are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Okay, Anna? So this is the two dimensional effect. So in this class, we are discussing about how to print the array by using for each loop. Second, this is the, we are using the different types of arrays, different types of arrays. Okay. So you are getting the answer here. Yes. So here I am using the another, uh, another strip that is called as a uh, string. So here we are using them to display by using the for each loop, we are displaying the string array. Next, second thing is, I want to copy. How to copy from source uh, array to destination array. And what is the condition? The destination array having a sufficient space to copy. If the space is equal to five, I can copy the five elements only. If the space is equal to eight, I can copy the eight elements only. So if you are copying a five element, I can accept. I can accept. If you are copying the 10 elements, I am not accept. Then there is a problem. So to copy from one array to another array, the destination having a sufficient space. Destination having a sufficient space. If over uh, overcrowd, then I am not supposed to accept. Then I will give the some problem. Okay. All right. This is the Another way, there are two different ways to copy. One is directly copying. So in the copying point of view, what happened? The two having the same length, but the two address different, the same index, same memory location. Okay, but you are thinking two methods of memory location. But by doing this, they can represent only the one memory location and the another set of memory location cannot be exit, it can be lost. So to do not lose the our existence, you can do, use this type of array copying. This type of array copying. Okay, next one. So this is the how to copy that. And next one, you can sort it. So sorting the data. Okay, so this is the value and this is the two dimensional array. Inside the two dimensional array, you are accepting the data. How to accept the data? You, your friend already explained with the memory array name with the starting index and the ending index. So that it, this is directly goes to that particular matrix, in that matrix, in the first call, in the call row, and next one, column. So that it can be pretty common. Okay, right, thank you. So in the next class, I want to discuss, suppose, uh, if there is a chance, okay, but not sure, there is a chance, I can take tomorrow one, one extra class with requesting our, uh, our staff. So methods is there, method, method. So I think in a language, you know, C language you already studied that call by value, call by, so this is called functions, function calling. In the Java it is called as a methods, function call, call by value, call by reference, okay? So if possible, I want to take the, an extra class tomorrow, not extra class, I can adjust with adjustment of the, our colleagues, okay? Thank you. It is the time. Uh, 
if you have any doubts if you have any doubt amma sir sorting ante meeru indaka ascending or descending annar kada sir ikkada ascending isukuntunnam default maarchukochu manaku kavalante adi ela change chestam sir adi adi prasthaniki entante ivala basics lo unnam kabatti first nerchukondi next class lo nichu guarantee okay ma alright clear endukante ippudu cheppesa ankonde next time nichu na class ki avaru raavali okay so that's why right. step by step i can clarify your doubts okay thank you thank you right you should leave any doubt okay